Hello, Hello, we're Moss Charmley. This episode asks the question, is your workspace in Clip Studio a little cramped? Have you found yourself drawing your newest kittens with mittens insta post and wished you had a little more workspace for your work? We felt the same way. (laughs) With the new Clip Studio updates, we noticed that there is a new simple UI format that is just for tablets like an iPad or Android. But wouldn't it be nice if there was a version for the desktop? Maybe Clip Studio will someday bring it to the desktop, but in the meantime, we created this quick and simple workspace, and we're going to show you how to make one of your own. Here we go. Mm -hmm. First thing you need to do is grab all your windows on your current workspace and delete. So you have a completely blank slate, except for your command bar on the top that you might not use as much as you probably could. Okay, second thing is to go up to Window and pull down the drop down the drop menu and right below Command Bar is a window called Quick Access. That is the magic behind all of this. It is. After making it visible, we're able to customize the Quick Access palette any way you want. That means that we can add any tool, even the lasso selection tool or sub tool set or any anything you want to customize the tool you know properties or the brush anything you want basically so all of the tools that you would regularly use this is where you can actually put it yeah insert it into the quick access palette Mm -hmm. so how to customize it easily is just um, press the wrench at the bottom of the palette Mm -hmm. alternately alternatively uh, you can press um, the three horizontal lines at the top left corner of the window, the little yeah. cheeseburger. Yes, yes, yeah. And then go to quick access settings and a sub window will pop up. Yeah. In the sub window, you want to go over to the drop down menu. It presently says menu commands and change it to pop up palettes. And open up the drop down menu that says display slash hide pop ups. This is where you will be able to add the tools to the quick access palette. Uh, When it is displayed as a pop-up, that just means that it has the ability to appear and reappear. Mm -hmm. It can toggle in and out of view, which is a lot easier if you want to keep a nice clean workspace. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to register this workspace and give it something unique. We called ours quick and simple just so we knew that we were using the quick access palette for this workspace. If you don't register this as a new workspace, it will override or overwrite the workspace you are using. So say it's one that you like, like illustration, a comic, or so on and so forth. It will actually become that. So make sure you actually register it. So we really hope that this helps you out. And definitely feel free to ask questions in the comments below. It took a little bit of getting used to, but in the end, if you want some ultra minimalist workspace, this is what we thought works best. You could always stick all of the tools that you regularly use up on the command bar as well, but that's way up on top. And it's kind of like, oh, you gotta reach, you gotta reach. So (laughs) it was a little bit easier if you just put it on, you know, if you're left-handed, put it on the right side. Yeah, it just felt more user-friendly. Right, it's just kind of like, okay, I have ease of access. And that's the whole point. Because when you look at the simplistic menu that they have, it is simple. It's really nice. So, but hopefully, you know, Qu- Clip Studio will put it out on the desktop. That's really, you know, what we're looking for. So, yeah. So, uh, once again, we really hope this helps people out. And please like and subscribe. Let us know what you think. Mm-hmm. Moss Charm me out. Honestly, Procreate should make a desktop application. Raise your hand if you think they should, too. That would be really neat. (laughs) Chonky Cat approves. Right there. (laughs)